Okay, this is a bit of topic this video because it's not entirely about 78 RPM records but as you may know I also collect vinyl records and the vinyl part of my collection is way much it's way bigger than uh, the 78 RPM part anyway uh, I find great pleasure in viewing videos here on YouTube with other record collectors from all around the world when they uh, where they uh, show recent um, findings for their collection not just because it's interesting to see what kind of records they find but also because it's a great pleasure to see um, the joy they show when they find these different records um, so I did myself a real I had a real real bargain the other day because uh, I went to a local flea market or what you would call it and found a bunch of vinyl singles 45 rpms from 60s early 70s some later some earlier and uh, the price was very cheap and also the condition condition of them is great so I think it, I did, did a real bargain so I thought I'd show them here to you one of them here's the uh, 78 rpm connection one of them um, was also released um, in the 78 rpm format back then anyway uh, time to start so first of all it's um, one of my absolute favorite uh, recordings. I've had it on, or I have it on LP, but here's a, a single version. It's the Edwin Hawkins Singers with Soleil's Dorothy Coombs Morrison with Oh Happy Day. I'm not religious, but and I, I'm not really a big fan of gospel, but this I love this song and uh, this recording mainly. It's superb. Uh, here maybe not one of my greatest favorites Roger James Cook with Today I Killed a Man I Didn't Know uh, Swedish uh, sleeve Swedish pressing on EMI Columbia from 1970 here another classic uh, Mango Jerry in the summertime on Pi, I think it's a yeah, it's it's the ordinary English pressing on, on Pi. Mango Jerry. Uh, Norman Greenbaum, Spirit in the Sky. I have the the album since before that. Quite nice reprise. Um, the reprise label. And favorites from my childhood, Simon and Garfunkel, uh, The Boxer and Baby Driver. It's, uh, yeah, I think it, it's a British, British pressing, CBS. Uh, from the hippie Broadway musical Hair, Good Morning Star, Starshine with Oliver. Uh, also on CBS. Uh, Neil Diamond, uh, Cracklin' Rosie on UNI or UNI, I don't know how you say that, the name of that label. Not really a Neil Diamond fan, but still I think it's nice enough. But this is a true beauty. I've already had the Jeff Wayne album uh, Jeff Wayne's musical version of War of the Words with well among others Richard Burton and uh, Phil Linnett from Thin Lizzy. I didn't know there was a single version of this of uh, the Eve of the War but here it is very good CBS later label Okay, some Swedish country and western from 1969. Greg Stranger's Early Morning Rain, Fly on the Baby Snows, with uh, 
very good Swedish um, country singer Mats Rodberg. This was their breakthrough record from 1969 on Polydor. Some bubblegum pop, pop, The Archies, Sugar Sugar, Melody Hill of the of the Orange RCA Victor label. Oh, here's the um, 78, 78 RPM connection. It's Povel Rammel and Gunnar Bergqvist with Drevet Gård, Drevet Gård and Gramofona fan on the, on the purple Knepp label. This was also released on the 78 RPM in January 1956. It was recorded in December uh, 55. So, oh, Shocking Blue, this Dutch uh, pop psych um, prog group with Send Me Postcard. This is, uh, I love this song, it's great. On the Quite Scarce LMA label. I don't know if you're familiar with it, I've never seen it before. It's probably something Dutch. Okay, uh, The Love Affair. Bring on back the good times on CBS. And this is also a great, great single. Great songs on both sides. It's the Doobie Brothers. Listen to the music and Long Train Running. On the Warner Brothers Burbank label. Uh, on the AMN. A a and M, yeah, label Miguel Rios, Song of Joy, El Rio. And a Swedish um, EP, Shirley Bassey, Goldfinger, Now, I Who Have Nothing, What Now, My Love. It's in very good condition. EP from 1965 on Colombia. It's, that's the best. That's the best Bond song in my opinion. Goldfinger. Okay, uh, Jose Feliciano, No Dogs Allowed on RCA. Peter Sarstedt, As Though It Were a Movie, and Take Off Your Clothes. That's the most famous one there on United Artists. Uh, Zager and Evans in the year of twenty five twenty five, and Little Kids on the RCA. Eamon Corner, Hello Susie, Evil Man's Gonna Win, Immediate. And this is a great record. The Guess Who, American Woman, No Sugar Tonight on RCA. Two with uh, BJ Thomas, his two probably most famous recordings. Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head and Never Had It So Good on Skepter. Skepter. And uh, Everybody's Out of Town and Living Again, also on Skepter. Uh, Tim Hardin, uh, probably most famous record, record here, Simple Song of Freedom, Question of Birth, on CBS. And another Tim Hardin, Hang On to Dream, If I Were Carpenter, on Verve Forecast. And finally, Two records with Creedence Clearwater Revival, both on Liberty, Liberty, Commotion, Green River, and uh, Run Through the Jungle, Up Around the Bend. All of these <coughs> records were extremely cheap and in very good condition, and you rarely make those kind of bargains here, especially around Stockholm, where most people know the value of old uh, recordings. So. Was a good bargain. Hope you found some enjoyment in this video. Bye for now.